current draft standards and or implementation agreements using PAM4. On the optical side, we have 200, 400 gig Ethernet that are outlined in 802.3BS. Draft 2.2 was just posted earlier this month. So all of this information uh, that I'm sharing, by the way, is you know, fairly fresh. It's a couple of weeks old in terms of Ethernet and the OIF CEI. A brand new draft, uh, 1.1, was just released uh, in the last uh, 10 days or so. This covers 50 gig, 100 gig, and 200 gig. So the Ethernet community recognized that we really needed a 50 gig lane definition. And so uh, 802.3CD was created, and that covers uh, 50 gig, 100 gig, 200 gig on multi-mode fiber, as well as uh, single-mode fiber, of course, WDM. And then 100G based DR is uh, one lane of single-mode fiber. 64 gig fiber channel is also going to be leveraging PAM4, and they'll leverage uh, a lot of the work that's taking place in 802.3BS and CD. I just wanted to quickly cover just parallel versus WDM, just have a quick look at the architectures. On the, on the left, you can see four lanes of electrical data coming into four optical transmitters, and these are directly connected to individual fibers. In this particular case, it's 400G based DR4, which is all single mode. On the right-hand side, we also have four or multiple lanes coming in to optical transmitters. But at the output of the optical transmitters, we combine all of those wavelengths, those optical signals, uh, through a wavelength division MUX and put all of that information onto a single fiber. So there's both parallel and wavelength division multiplexing that's um, outlined in 802.3BS, uh, WDM, only requires one fiber, but it does require more complex circuitry uh, through the use of the, the MUX and the DMUX. I'm not going to go through these next two slides in detail. I just wanted you to be aware that we have tabulated all of this information. We've also included what the reference receiver bandwidth should be for the particular standard, because we realize that there's a lot of acronyms, there's a lot of different clauses that are being used. So for 802.3BS, we've tabulated that for you as well as for CD.